in this video we will consider the uh, simple uh, gate problems in the area of electromagnetic theory and uh, the problem which we are going to discuss first is the problem of gate uh, 2001 in the area of uh, EM theory and the problem is stated as if a plane electromagnetic wave satisfies the equation delta 2 EX over delta Z square equals to C square delta 2 EX over delta T square the wave propagates in a X direction B Z direction C Y direction and D is X Y plane at an angle of 45 degrees between the x and z directions. Now this is the problem and uh, we have to find a solution to this problem. What we observe here is this is a problem on the um, wave equation and uh, we know that the general in general we can write a wave, wave equation like del square E in terms of the electric field del square E could be written as mu epsilon delta 2 E over delta T square. So basically this is a vector wave equation both the electric field here E are the vector components. Now vectors so uh, for a since the it's a plane wave for a plane wave the propagation is propagation is in as a plane wave front that means let us consider this coordinate system x this is y coordinate and this is z coordinate and this is right handed uh, coordinate system x to y gives the direction of propagation as z now E is indicating as the electric field and H we have shown is a magnetic field. Now what we notice here is there is no variation of the electric field or the magnetic field in X or Y. So E and H fields are independent of are independent of X and Y directions. So they are independent of independent of X and Y directions. That means the only the only variation is with the Z direction. So this wave equation could be further simplified in this form delta 2 E over delta Z square since there is only variation in the z direction mu epsilon delta 2 e over delta t square. What we observe here there is only uh, dependence of uh, uh, the parameter z the only the coordinate z on the electric field. So we are writing here delta 2 e over delta z square is going to be epsilon delta 2 e delta T square. Now the E may have the components on X and Y directions also or it may have only component in the X direction and they may not be component in the Y direction. So this basically represents a, uh, a partial differential equation, second order partial differential equation and uh, what is uh, indicated here is this the electric the electric field here like in the given problem the electric field is in the x direction so uh, since the electric field is in the di x direction that means x is the direction which is transverse to direction of propagation so this z where we are uh, seeing the variation of the field is the 
uh, direction where the wave is propagating. So that means this is the direction of the wave propagation. So what we observe here, this is the electric field component which is transverse to direction of propagation and this is the direction of propagation. So uh, in this uh, problem, the direction uh, electric field is in the x direction and the direction of propagation is the is, is in the z direction. So this option, that z direction is the direction of propagation for this wave. And this is the right option for the z. Thank you.